Welcome everyone to another crazy Fortnite video with arguably the craziest Fortnite update we've ever had with a brand new vehicle that no one saw coming and looks absolutely insane. We've got a new PlayStation bundle which I'll tell you guys all about. Got myself some exclusive skins as well which I'm very excited for. And also potential information letting us know that the X-Wing fighter pilot could be returned to the game. Crazy eh? All in today's video if you're excited. Give it a big fat thumbs up, get comfy and without further ado let's jump into the info. Now in the background you'll be able to see me using the munitions expert which is the female munitions skin which looks very cool. The reason I'm using that is because it actually links in very nicely with the fact that in today's store we got the male counterpart in the form of the munitions major who's now in the Fortnite store. Thank you to everyone who's buying anything in the Fortnite store. If you use code Alia you can get a shout out as well. Really really appreciate it and with this week's update it is going to be even more exciting because it's a physical patch update not just a content update which means we will get more leaked files, more leaked skins. So as soon as this week's update goes live I'll be sharing all that with you along with this week's new update which includes a vehicle. Now just before we get into the crazy crazy vehicle that we're getting this week I want to ask all of you guys a question. What level are you guys right now within season 8? Your boys just hit 47. I've got one of the best solo win ratios I've had for seasons and seasons and seasons. I'm absolutely loving life. And as you know I recently unlocked the awesome Blackheart Stage 4. I've since then got the awesome Swag Smasher Pickaxe which you'll also see in today's video. Video. So close to get the glowing black heart, but the big thing that I really want is the hybrid skin. I'm gonna get it very, very soon, so make sure you subscribe to see gameplay of this crazy skin fully unlocked right here on the channel. Now this may come as a surprise, it definitely came as a surprise to me because a lot of people were very happy that the X-Wing Stormfighter was actually vaulted at the start of Season 8, being a big new vehicle in Season 7. However, within the in-game files there have now been additional audios actually altering and added to the plane files. You can hear in this very short clip posted on Reddit, it's actually when the fuel is empty and also do with the fuel levels of the plane whilst actually using it, which is really weird because the plane's vaulted. Now, obviously, whenever anything gets vaulted, it can return to the game at any point at all. And according to some of the comments, it looks like that the most likely return method for this plane will be through a limited time mode. So don't worry, if you didn't like it in the main mode, it most likely won't return there. More of like just a big fighter jet limited time mode, just for people that did miss it to have a chance to use it again. Now, talking about experience, exclusive skins and skins bundles. We know we've had some amazing bundles in the past. You can see the old boxes of ones that I've used before. We've had Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, Galaxy skins, all of those good ones. There's one currently going around at the moment. And the reason I'm laughing is because it's probably the worst one ever. It was found by a Twitter account called Storm Leaks. I believe someone sent him the image. Essentially, this is an exclusive bundle for the PlayStation, currently only available in Russia, and it includes a thousand V-Bucks, which is great. But here's the kicker. The skin it comes with as a part of this bundle is the Scorpion skin. This skin is a green rarity skin. It's not even very rare. It's been in the store recently doesn't even look that good so it has to be one of the most trash skin bundles I've ever seen in my life. Now it's not meant to be exclusive, just meant to be a silly little reason to pick up a PlayStation over in Russia but I thought I'd let you guys know just because it's absolutely hilarious and made me laugh. Now with bad skin bundles out of the way, in come the good skin bundles. I've talked about it in recent videos but there are two new skin bundles on the block. We have got the Honor skin bundle and also the new Samsung Iconic skin bundle. Uh, both of these have had slight issues unfortunately redeeming their skin. This one had like loads of people hacking in and getting free codes. Don't fall for it. If anyone gives you a free code it shouldn't work. Currently there's no way to get a skin bundle. I'm just waiting for them to actually make it available for people that genuinely have a phone like me here. And then the recent S10 Plus bundle as well which gives you the iconic skin and also the emote. Uh, that actually launched last week and I had this phone on pre-order ready to go but there's also its redemption method being frozen so currently I'm just sat here with two phones with two exclusive skins waiting for both of the skins to be available in game. As soon as they are in game I'll be bringing you guys a video so make sure you're subscribed here to see the actual skins in action first. And on top of that I actually don't really need the phones so I'll be giving the phones away in that video. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're keeping your eyes open. Can't wait to finally give them a go and hopefully, fingers crossed, the skins will be available sooner rather than later. And everyone out there, stop trying to hack your way to get free skins. We need to get them legitimately, okay? Now, here's the really exciting part and crazy part. As soon as this was announced as this week's update, 
and a new section went live. I tweeted out and my Twitter blew up. You guys went crazy. So if you look on screen here, we can see coming soon, round and round we go. Roll through the competition with the newest vehicle, the Buller. We're gonna talk about this a little bit more because it's actually already been teased to us prior to it being officially announced yesterday, which is crazy. I've also got a tweet from someone at Epic Games directly and more information about this vehicle, which has to be the craziest thing we've ever seen added in. So I kept this under wraps and I didn't talk about it too much, even though a lot of you guys did actually point it out to me because I was waiting for more information to come to fruition like it has now. On the Fortnite Season 8 loading screen, there's so much going on. We have the treasure chest in the foreground. We have a few weapons that aren't released yet, including the flintlock pistol being held by Blackheart, which will no doubt come as an update and added into the game at some point during Season 8. We've also got the bow, which I predicted would be a mythical weapon. I thought initially it would come out of the treasure chest. That just turned out to drop a load of legendary weapons. Um, but we still got the bow and the pistol to come. However, that's not the only thing hidden away on this loading screen. If we zoom in on the background, and some of you keen-eyed viewers did tweet this at me, so thank you so much for bringing it to my attention, we can actually see an orb, which looks like a crazy vehicle, and is actually the exact vehicle that's been announced to come out this week. Also, dotted around the map are actually the spawn points, so they're already ready, and were added in with season eight, and I clocked, and I was like, what the heck are these? That will be the points in which this new crazy vehicle will actually be added to the map. Now, just looking at the vehicle, it's really weird. A lot of people are referencing uh, Jurassic World, is it? Jurassic Park? I think it's a new Jurassic film, where they travel around in big orbs. Uh, it also looks very much like a hamster wheel, and I did know a few leakers tweet about this, and mention how a hamster vehicle was gonna be coming to the game. This is clearly it. But the weird thing is it's literally a grappler on the front of it. So does that mean you can grapple around the map and also roll? It seems absolutely insane. Obviously, as soon as it's available, either tomorrow or the following day, right here on the channel, I'll be covering it as soon as it's out to see gameplay straight away and see just how crazy it is. However, don't just take my word for it. Not only did my tweet blow up when I announced it yesterday, but Donald Mustard, who we love to quote in these videos here on my channel, who is a great guy working at Epic, there's a lot of storytelling, a lot of uh, big things in the world of Fortnite, essentially. He quoted my tweet and said, just you wait, it is amazing. Oh my gosh, if someone at Epic is telling you it's gonna be amazing, you know this thing's gonna be absolutely nuts. Now, I mentioned parts of the map already like set up and ready to go for this new vehicle. So essentially all of the sort of airport, air they're not airports, oh, what do you call those bits where the planes used to spawn? The little red hut buildings, you know which ones I mean. Essentially where the X-Wing planes used to spawn, there's now these weird little circular discs on the floor. And it apparently, according to the leakers that dug it up and took a look at them earlier, it turns out that that's going to be either like a charging port or like a spawn area for the balls to actually go onto the map. So if you see those things dotted around, keep a note on it and then you'll be ready for when these vehicles get added in so you know where to go, where to actually use these vehicles. And honestly, I just cannot wait to give it a go. Firstly, how fast can this thing go? Secondly, how is that grappler going to work? Is it literally just going to allow you to catapult yourself around the map in a ball? And thirdly, probably the most important question, can you squish someone with this? baller vehicle and just eliminate them instantly by rolling them over. Imagine getting a victory royale while squishing them and whilst rolling over them in this new vehicle. That would have to be one of the greatest victory royales I've ever seen. Now one thing I took a little bit of an advantage of, which is a little bit cheeky of me, was a glitch in the game where you would go up to a rock near the knives and forks at Fatal Fields and you'd instantly be eliminated. The video was very, very fun to record and if you've seen it actually squad wipe someone just by baiting them into this glitch rock that instantly killed you. I revisited it today. I didn't actually see Fortnite I officially tweet anything about it, but I'm pretty sure that glitch is no longer in the game, just for those of you guys that are wondering. If you haven't seen the video, you've got to check it out. I'll link it down below. Uh, you can also find it just on my Fortnite players, which contains all my Fortnite videos, but it was an insane glitch. And fingers crossed we won't get any crazy glitches. Or maybe we will get some crazy glitches in this week's update. It's kind of fun to mess with people with it. Oh, actually, I can't lie. Uh, as soon as it's announced when this update is going to go live and when the new vehicle's in the game, if it is announced and this video's gone live, I'll put it on the screen here. If not, just keep an eye on my Twitter and I'll let you know straight away and you'll see gameplay on the channel as soon as it's available. Finally, Fortnite have been rolling out Season 7 recap videos for your specific Fortnite accounts. I've just been sent mine, so I thought I'd share it with you. The only thing to note is that it's got my old supporter crater on there. Remember the new one's just Ali A now. Nice and short, nice and simple. So check it out. Can't wait to see you guys with the new update. It's going to be crazy. And here is my Season 7 recap. Ooh.